<sighs> I'm wondering why I pulled out my old high school graduation gown. After all, this thing is hideous and it doesn't re represent the colors I am naturally born to wear. It's a little... Eh. I pulled this out because we're heading into graduation season, typically. And it kind of made me think back on some old times um, when I was in school. Believe it or not, I did pass in school, so. So I did have a camera, as I, I do a lot more nowadays, but in those early days, I just had gotten one only a couple years before I graduated in the earlier 2000s, and um, having cameras around was much more rare back then. And phones especially, forget it. Um, they, it. Flip phones existed and stuff, but hardly anybody really had them just yet. They were kind of taken off, but I don't even think we were at the Blackberry stage, to be honest. Uh, I was probably one, or maybe the only one, to go around the halls of the last few days of school documenting my memories that I had a feeling it's like, well, you know, I might not want to see this anytime soon again because I'm just getting over the, the memories and sometimes the horrific experience of high school. But, give it time. Keeping the darkness at bay We do things our own way It's fun to not be okay Through life's prism each day Life's not the tits Just remember we're all misfits And our journey to dear wits Subscribe some glimpses into my past, into my high school, later half of high school, uh, really technically the final week of high school to be honest. And yeah. Liz Newborn, escorted by Eric Klein. It's a prom I did not want to go to. I just, it's not my thing. Hell, I didn't even want to go to graduation, but my mom made me walk across the stage. And there's me with my short hair. Uh, yeah. At one time I had it. Gross. Ellie Gibson, escorted by Dallas. <laughs> All right, so in my fetus emo days, I was much more um, uh, awkward shy. I wasn't quite as, uh, charismatic. I was still goofy as hell, I guess. Um, and you know, sometimes I went around with that camera and made some of my classmates uncomfortable, but it was worth it. Here, can you take one of my crappy cameras um, as well? Small school, no budget, aka prom in the gymnasium. So, um, prom was something. That was interesting. I was, I'm glad that was over with. Um... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott. They call me the Song of Dance DJ. It's great to be here this evening. We're going to get our dance started here with the King and Queen dance. And you build the evanescence. In high school, you know how sometimes there's always this group, either like the jocks versus the nerds, you know, uh, outsiders kind of over here on their own group, whatever. I uh, had two main groups of friends, um, kind of like the kind of outsider slash skater 
group and then the other group I was kind of a part of was they were more the nerdy outsider type in a different way, a uh, different way. Um, I got along with the jocks and the more popular types. Usually if I found myself in an awkward situation, I could always be counted upon to be um, silly and uh, make some kind of a, my humor is sometimes dry and, well, still is sometimes. I, was, I wasn't really bullied, I was fortunate enough to get through through that with, without that, but anytime that there's sometimes being uncomfortableness coming up, I would dish out my own uncomfortableness and toss it back in their face. And while they were stunned because they didn't know it, to laugh or cry at me, I uh, would make my escape. Case in point, annoying technique, one of them, where I would do the killer bees. And it would start with the sound, and then you knew. And those who knew of this knew, uh-oh, Eric's about to go off. And so it would be sound like a B sound. And there would be a series of ferocious flailing arm pinchers. Um, something like this. And I'd be going after whoever um, provoked me. Um, yeah. That was something. In the actual last days of school, went around filming what I could film. Um, didn't do a whole lot. Kind of wish I did more now in hindsight, but I uh, got some. But like, like, All right, let's have Chance and Casey here versus Rush and whoever wants to. As I am the one and only true God, you will not. <laughs> you will not praise any other. But we have not followed this rule, have we, brothers and sisters? Jake? We haven't followed that rule, have we? No. Because now we have presidents who make rules for us. Against God! We do not place faith in the government. We place faith in the Lord. In Germany, we, we set the Pledge of Allegiance every morning, though. And my first day of school here in 8th grade, um, when we didn't say it, it, it just didn't feel the same. It didn't feel like you started your day off right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Like, horrible duck you ever is. You always put wings on it. They're an explorer. Are you going to miss it? It works wonders. It's demolished now. Are you going to miss high school? Um, no. <laughs> Cody. Before I start with the introduction of current members, I'd like to let all of you know which teachers, way back when, were in National Society in high school. If those teachers are here, would you please come down? Mrs. Connolly, Mrs. Spellman, Mr. Green, Ms. Harris, Mr. Elliott, I don't think Mr. Chapman is here, Mr. Chapman, Mrs. Ms. Nelson was in, Mrs. Nolmeyer was in, and Ms. Campbell was in. Leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others have been. You're gay, Joe. Yeah, I'm up here in the senior English class watching some Hercules. And then one thing growing up, they don't really teach you very well, at least, is that the friends that you grew up with, your childhood friends, odds are they are not going to be with you as you cross over to the 18, 19, 20 year old mark. They just aren't. I wasn't really prepared for that. I, you know, so that change kind of messed me up for a few years. I was really depressed, um, went down kind of a dark hole in uh, college when I went off there. The act of going off to college also made me go down that hole that much deeper. I was just not, it wasn't my thing. College is not my thing. School, really, overall, is not my thing. Um, but uh, 
the Lou's and the friends that I thought were friends that I just imagined I would have growing up into my adulthood, well, that wasn't the case. You know, you know the saying, growing up, growing out, doesn't just mean your waistline. Um, it, it can mean that people that you hung out with, slept, had sleepovers with, long nights of video gaming with, um, it's, they go their way, start their life in different direction, and you do yours. And you may or may not talk ever again. I mean, social media really kicked in uh, while I was in school. And uh, a few of them I maintained contact with after that. But most of my class, most of my friends younger than me especially, nope. It's really difficult to start over, especially being an alternative um, introvert. It doesn't really make, and who has social anxiety, <laughs> doesn't really make friends the easiest. And those that connect with people like us, um, yeah, let's just say we're not for everybody. Uh, or maybe it could be worded as everyone's not for us. But um, my inner circle is small and I think it's kind of better that way. And uh, otherwise for the most part I'm just kind of this social media presentation, um, this you know face personality or whatever you're going to call it. But, hardly anyone actually meets. So it's kind of like those Eminem commercials. It's like when Eminem sees a Santa Claus and vice versa, they're like, oh, he does exist. Oh, they do exist. Kind of like that. It's like only a handful. I mean, Emil Burzak was one of them. He started as a random alternative Facebook friend. And then he moved up in the world and uh, actually met me in person. So he's like, oh, he does exist. You know, it's kind of one of those things. Otherwise, I'm a... Uh, do I exist? I don't know. To the bulk of the other folk. Right now, Alan. Graduation day, yeah, that was it. So, pretty much interesting. Let me take this thing off. Ugh. That little tour down memory lane there. I do have a few other memory lane type um, videos. Uh, I think I have one we're going back and further to eighth grade and eighth grade graduation, which was a joke, um, and some stuff through some of my middle school and ninth grade years. So, like this video. We'll do some more of that kind of like stuff where I why in the way. Peace. Rock on till next time. Stay kind to animals and stay alternative and unique and an individual. Bye.